Hi and welcome back to the Positive Prepper. So I'm doing an update video. Well, apparently Biden did give the okay for Ukraine to use the attack arms against Russia. And it happened really quickly. So as soon as Biden said, yep, Ukraine said okay. And they launched uh, six of them called attack arms. Uh, allegedly five of them were shot down, one hit land, no injuries, whatever. It hit near like a military thing in Russia. Um, so that did happen. <laughs> uh, so now it's going to be interesting. Because Congressman Keith Self, he's a Republican from Texas, I think the 3rd District. Um, he has written up articles of impeachment. He hasn't put them forward yet. He has them written up. Because what he is trying to figure out is what were the parameters. So what did Biden okay? Was it just those six attack -ums? Was it just a certain distance into Russia <coughs> that they could be fired? Nobody knows the parameters of this, right? And so Congressman Self um, wrote up um, articles of impeachment using the 25th Amendment, you know, which is basically incapable to serve. Um, so my husband, God bless him, looked up the Constitution to see what was allowed because we cannot declare war, right? That's, that's up to Congress. Article 1. Section 8, Clause 11 of the Constitution says, The President, without Congress's approval, cannot take actions that put the U.S. in a state of war. Uh, most obviously, military attacks on a foreign nation. But the clause does not bar presidential actions that do not put the U.S. in a state of war. So, either number one, and I, I'm not going to say Biden, I'm, whoever is making these decisions, probably Tony Blinken, right? Um, they either did this action thinking that it would not put the U.S. in a state of war, uh, i.e. World War III, um, or he knew it was going to bring us into war. And like I said in my video that came out re really early this morning, they know that it's going to go to war because they want all their money out of this. And they want to make this extremely difficult for incoming President Trump to, who has said, just, just stop, hold off. Let me get in and see what we can do about peace. Well, instead of that, and it, it literally, I think, was within 24 hours of that where Biden gave the okay, and as soon as that was done, Ukraine fired the missiles. Okay. We're at a very precarious moment right now. Uh, this congressman self, he doesn't want to put down these articles of impeachment because he absolutely does not want Kamala to become the president even for this short amount of time, right? What he's doing is trying to press the White House to express what the terms were of this uh, green light, okay? Was he drawn in because France and the UK are authorizing Ukraine to use their storm missile, storm shadow missiles? And so, did they pull us in? Did Ukraine pull us in? How did this come about? This is what this congressman is trying to figure out. There has been nothing said from the White House or the DOD, or the military, about what the parameters was uh, were of this green light. 
So, of course, Zelensky's out there bragging now about all the capabilities that he has. Um, you know, because he's gotten all these different kinds of missiles from different countries, right? Sorry, Prim came to say hi again. Um, <clears throat> here's two interesting facts about this. So, we really don't know what's going to happen. So, I'm not... I'm not worried about it. I'm not amped up about it. I'm just putting this information out there. Uh, the CIA put out what everyone should say in support of Ukraine. So Trudeau said it. Macron said it. They all said the same exact verbiage from a memo that was put out by the CIA. Does that surprise you? If you've been watching my videos, you know how I feel about the CIA. So that's number one. The CIA is telling everybody what they should say in support of Ukraine. Number two, Sweden and Finland are putting out flyers for all of their citizens to prepare for nuclear war. I believe that they're also doing that in some of the uh, European countries as well. So either they did this because they didn't think that Putin would retaliate or they did it because they know he will. You can see it from both sides. So don't get freaked out, okay? We're, it, we will have to wait and see what Putin decides to do. Like I said in my video last night, I'm hoping that Trump has Putin on speed dial and he says, dude, this wasn't me. Just hold off, right? But there again, if, um, if Zelensky decides to shoot more missiles and does more damage and keeps doing that, how long is Russia going to be able to hold that off? So these are just some things I wanted to update everybody on. And um, obviously, if something happens tomorrow after the news cycle, I will come on here again. I will update everybody. Fear not, nor be afraid, right? God's got this. Nothing happens unless somebody wants it to. Okay? There will be wars and rumors of war, yet this is not the end. So, keep the faith. Keep the actionable faith. Stay safe. Stay vigilant, and God bless.